Immigration World. In this video, UK immigration update, indefinitely to remain or ILR in the UK app to remain or ILR? A person with indefinite leave to remain, ILR, or in other words, with permanent status in the UK, is a person who is legally in the UK without any restrictions or conditions being placed on his slash her residence. ILR is the precursor to applying for naturalization as a British citizen. Requirements for ILR The requirements for ILR vary depending on the visa category of the applicant. The general requirements taken into consideration in ILR applications are Length of time spent in the UK, English language test, life in the UK test, absence slash presence of unspent criminal conviction, continuous lawful residence. Qualifying period for ILR the qualifying period for ILR can vary depending on the visa category you were in when you entered the UK and or have been in since you entered. You and any of your dependents applying with you should apply before the end of your slash their permitted stay in the UK. However, the application should not be made more than 28 days before completing the qualifying period. The qualifying periods for ILR are as follows. Two or three years in the following visa categories, Tier 1 Investor, Accelerated. Three years in the following visa categories, Tier 1 Entrepreneur, Accelerated. Tier 1 Exceptional Talent, Accelerated. Five years in the following visa categories, Tier 1 and Tier 2 Point Based System, Excluding Post Study Work Category of Tier 1. Tier 1 Entrepreneur, Startup slash innovator. Tier 1 investor, Tier 1 global investor, sole representative of an overseas business, UK ancestry, retired person of independent means. How traveling affects continuous stay. The qualifying period will be calculated by counting backward from whichever of the following is most beneficial to the applicant, the date of application, or the date of decision, any date up to 28 days after the date of application. Previously, if you were absent from the UK for more than 180 days in any 12-month period that the continuous period would be been broken. Following recent changes to rules pertaining to absences, for settlement applications made from 11th of January 2018, absences from the UK are calculated on a rolling basis rather than in separate consecutive 12-month periods. However, if your qualifying period includes leave granted before this date, any absences during that leave will be considered under the previous rules, i.e. in separate 12-month periods. In some circumstances, the Home Office may consider a period of absence from the UK as an allowable absence, if the absence is for a serious or compelling reason. This usually includes serious illness of the applicant or a close relative, a conflict, a natural disaster, for example, do not forget to subscribe.